Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I finally have another unboxing to film. Oh, I should really reorganize this little area that I have for recording videos. Oh, sorry for the red background. Oh, I should really clean this area up. Ooh, it's because it's just such a little area that I don't even think about. I just ignore it. It's like, oh, it's just a window shelf. But whatever. If you guys see who this is from, then you probably already know what deck this is. This is a deck that's like been on and off. It's been like, okay, I'm going to get it this time. This time I'm going to get it. This time I'm going to get it. Never got it until I said, you know what? This time around, I'm going to get it. And now I have it. Ooh, I, I, think, I, I think I cut that. Yeah. <laughs> see, people? Don't use scissors. I'm just kidding. No, it, it, this would have been impossible. Oh my gosh. I hope this doesn't come off. Okay, no, it doesn't come off. <laughs> Ooh, damn. Okay, let's see what this says. Da, 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 da. Sorry for being so quiet because I am reading this. Thanks again, Stasia. Stasia Burn. You can, I follow her on Instagram. I think I follow her on Tumblr. Does she have a Tumblr? I don't think she does. No, she just has an Instagram and a Facebook, but I follow her on Instagram. And you know what? I've just been, oh my gosh, this deck. Everyone is posting this deck. And I said, I want to join in too. So, yeah. Ooh, look, I think I got a little art thing. Oh, wonder. Cute. Okay, well, I don't want to, like, ruin the packaging because, you know, aesthetics. I mean, like, wrapping it, first of all, is already, like, a good sign. <laughs> Even if it is just all wrap. If I were to do this, if I, whenever I make a deck, if ever I make a deck... <laughs> I probably wouldn't use, like, wrapping paper. <laughs> I'd probably be like, here, it's in bubble wrap. What more do you want? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Who knows? Whoa. Oh, my gosh. And as you all know, it is the Sasurai Ibito Tarot. And also, I'm going to title the, the, the video. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ooh, and it's signed. History and everything. A nice little guidebook. Okay. Okay, nice good amount on even like the minors, like a same, a good equal amount uh, for the majors and the minors. Okay, I hope she describes the, the, um, I hope she describes like the artistic look of them, like why she chose to the, to draw a card a certain way. Oh, I'm like, how the hell did she bubble wrap this? The tape's right here. Oh my gosh. I always love it when the deck comes in like a really nice box. It's just, it makes it all, it makes me like, like it even more. I don't wanna, here we go. Come on, there we go. Cause I don't wanna scratch the box anywhere visible. I recently got the Prisma Visions and the gold metallics and the lamination on it stuck. So, like, nine cards I have to get replaced because they're all damaged, and you'll see when I do a walkthrough of it. Let me just clear off all that dust still. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. For a split second, I thought this opened, like, the pit, like, like a Baba Studio box. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, my gosh. I believe that might say the title of the deck, the Sasura Ibito. You know? with the gold here the original the first edition didn't have this gold butterfly here i don't think it had gold stars here i think it just had this and i think this was just in gold but oh my gosh let's see oh oh my gosh okay come on everything is sticking oh wow this is a bitch to open <laughs> This is, or maybe I'm like, maybe I'm dumb and I don't know, maybe there's like a sticker that I'm not looking at? No, it's all free. Oh my gosh, I can't open this. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Sorry for the jiggly camera right there. Stop wiggling. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. My gosh. Oh gosh, I hope the cards didn't get hurt from that. It's weird. It's really weird. Huh. That was weird. Okay, maybe it's maybe it was this plastic cup. I saw that it was all weird like that. I don't know. Hopefully. I'm afraid to close it, and I'm definitely not going to close it with 
uh, without the deck in it because if it's like care of the holy light that is impossible to open Ooh. let's feel how this is oh i expected this to be like prism of visions Ooh. let me make sure there's no like oh yeah okay yeah this is actually really good card stock or Maybe I'm just giving it too much credit because my hands are a little tired from fucking opening that box. My gosh. Ooh. Yeah, this is, ooh, I don't know how to feel about this cardstock. It doesn't seem to be coming off on my hands. Yeah, that's a good sign. Ooh, my gosh. I always love this full card. It reminds me of this episode in Adventure Time. Actually reminds me, the entire thing kind of reminds me of that Adventure Time aesthetic with like the wavy, wibbly arms. I love this High Priestess with her owl there. The Empress. Here we have the Emperor. Oh my gosh. The Hierophant. The Lovers. This Lovers kind of reminds me of like, uh, the description of like, uh, oh my gosh, I can't remember where in uh, in Dante's Inferno, like all the people that are like bound together, you know, and they're like swirling around in this like storm or something. I think I can't remember. Can't remember what circle of hell it was. I want to say it was those who cheated on other people or who were. Uh, oh my gosh, what's what's the word? Well, anyways, here's the chariot. I do like to see like. Uh, the typical, like, two horses, you know, the typical chariot imagery. But here we have this, you know, we do get that energy here, that movement here. Here we have strength. I like the strength. The hermit. Loving it. Loving it. The wheel of fortune. Yes. Very interesting about that wheel of fortune. Here we have justice. Crazy justice. Really anxiety it gives me a lot of anxiety with like this needle in your eye. Hmm. Hanged man. Death. Temperance. Very blue. Or am I just colorblind? <laughs> Here we have the devil. What an interesting pick for the devil. The tower. The star. Oh my gosh. I was watching... Um, Quilfin's uh, walkthrough, or like, she was talking about this because this was her like most used deck of 2017, and she was like, this just reminded me of that movie, and I'm like, Gravity, yes. <laughs> oh, I love that movie. It's crazy. The moon. The sun. Judgment. Love this judgment card. The world. Here we have the Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands, whoa, okay, Three of Wands, what do you want? The three of Wands, Four, I like how they're very pippish, kind of, they're more like Wild Unknown in its design, kind of, not in its like simplicity. Uh, but, like, there's no people, like, interacting. Like, the wands are just there. There's no people interacting with them. But it still emulates the same meaning. And here we have the seven of wands. The eight of wands. Nine. Healing. I love how it's like a broken bone being mended. Ten of wands. Here we have the Page of Wands. What is that noise? <laughs> it's a truck. Here are the Page. I don't think I remember. I can't remember like most of this. I love this Knight of Wands. I don't know why. We have the Queen of Wands and the King. Here we have the Ace of Cups. My dog. The Two of Cups. The Three of Cups. Oh, my gosh. Just beautiful. I love how there's, like, people of different skin colors and all that. The Four of Cups. I love the braid around her neck. Five. 
six, seven. It's cutting away. I want to say this might be the same, like the same idea used for, uh, like the same card and the same idea in the Cosmos Tarot. I could be wrong. You might have used it for the Eight of Wands. I'll have to see. I'm not going to bother looking because I'm paranoid that my phone will give out at any minute. Nine of Cups. Ten. Page. How interesting. She holds the key to her heart. <gasps> Independence, maybe. Knight of Cups. The Queen of Cups. The King of Cups. They're so friendly. The, the cup courts look very friendly. Ace of Swords is cutting away. Slicing through the darkness. I like that. The Two of Swords here. The Three. Here I have the Four. I was afraid that I was going to have to, like, readjust my camera to, like, zoom into the cards, see if there's, like, anything. But, no, these cards aren't, like, that intricate, like, Shadowscapes or, like, uh, uh, some of the other cards that I have. You know, what you see, honestly, what you're seeing here on the camera is, should be what, what I'm, what I'm getting here, too. It's pretty, oh, my gosh. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. So yeah, it's not it's not too busy, uh, but it still emulates a lot of emotional, uh, emotional emotions. I'm <laughs> just kidding. No, it, it it does hit the emotions right. The stack here, the Knight of Swords. It's like it wants to be warm in some cards, but uh, or like the like the whole thing like in general. Like sometimes you can see like a whole oh, I don't know how to how to explain it, like the whole theme of it. As a deck entirely, it seems to want to be like a warm deck, but then it has these like really cold cards. You know, it's like a, yeah, I can't seem to remember like what, mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, this deck though, it's just amazing. Ten of Pentacles. The Page. The Origami. Knight of Pentacles. Working in the Fields. The Queen. What is that around her? Would that be Fern? Or like... I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, the King of Pentacles. We got Mountain Ranges. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, my fingers hurt after trying to open that. So let's see what the cardstock is like. It seems rather thin. Ooh, but I like it. Uh, it seems to remind me of, uh, oh my gosh. No, I don't really, no, this is a really interesting cardstock. It's like, uh, shuffle's interesting both ways too. Let me see how it shuffles. It shuffles overhand pretty nicely. The it's not sticky like Schiffer it, it, with the lamination, although it is a glossy lamination. Uh, you know, it, it's not like super super glossy like Schiffer. You know, so it's not gonna do that suction stickiness that people don't like. It's very easy to shuffle even out even the first time uh, out of the box. Uh, the gilding isn't like coming off on my fingers that I can see. No, no, not at all. Uh, it's it's a really really nice cardstock and nice gilding here. And this is a second edition. I'm pretty sure if you keep your eye out, you can find a first edition, but it might be for like a much more bigger price, you know. Who knows? Okay, like what are you trying to tell me? Interesting. Oh my gosh. What a beautiful deck, honestly. I don't want to 
Be careful not to push too hard because there is dust here. I should have cleaned this off much better if I was going to lay cards down on it. So yeah, ooh, also there's moisture coming through here. Ooh, I should put a moisture trap there. Yeah, that's why I don't put my decks there because it's so close to the window. But it's the best place, it's the best place that I can get lighting and my and the best place I can do, I can film a video. <laughs> so yeah, this is a really, really cool deck. I love it. Let's see, okay, second time around. I know that was like a kind of like a bad thing. Oh, look, lore, love, lost and lust. Ooh. Okay, maybe that's for like the four suits, maybe? Okay, let's see if this will... Oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not, I don't wanna close it. <laughs> it's such a tight fit. <laughs> oh my gosh, ah, I'm trying to think of how to make this tighter. I'm pretty sure with time, it'll just, you know, become easier. Oh yeah, oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, it's already, yeah, okay, never mind. Never mind, we're good, it's a tight close. Okay, so yeah, I think she might have done that on purpose to make sure that like if you're holding it like this, it doesn't slide open, which, thank you. <laughs> oh, so yeah, this has been an unboxing of the Sasurai Ibizo Tarot. Uh, I do have a few decks, a few more decks coming through. Yeah, I did order two mass-produced decks that I kind of wanted, both by Kay Steventon, if you know who that is. Uh, and if you don't know, go check out uh, Katie Flowers. She does have a few unboxings there. And also check out one person. Who is it that I've been watching recently uh, that I've been, like, watching her unboxings? And I loved her walkthrough of the of the decks that I ordered. I ordered the Celestial Tarot and the Star Tarot. Uh, the, Celestial Tar the Celestial Tarot and the Spiral Tarot, both by Kay Steventon. And they, and she did a really, really good walkthrough of it. Like the video was really clear and I could see close to it. Not to like throw any shade to Katie Flowers because, you know, obviously I wouldn't have known about the deck without her. Uh, but, you know, oh my gosh, what was her name? This channel. Oh my gosh. I want to say it was like Gina. Gina something. I know it starts with a G. I'm going to link it down below. And I'm definitely going to put the name down there because she does have really, really good walkthroughs. Like she filmed outside, which sometimes people film outside and they don't really look that nice. Uh, but she filmed it outside the, I think it was the Spiral Terror, I want to say, out in her garden or some deck out in her garden. And I watched it and it was like really, really good quality. I loved it. And also she has a really cute dog. So yeah, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to try and link that down below because she's the one that made me like pull the trigger on buying those two decks. And I also got Tarot Wisdom, which even though I have not finished reading 78 Degrees of Wisdom, uh, <laughs> I just got the book because I wanted it. Um, even though I should be getting books on like Kabbalah and all that to start studying for my video series that I'm still working on. Not really, kind of am. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully I can, hopefully soon though, I'm going to get those books real soon. Uh, what other deck am I waiting for? Oh, my tarot godmother is sending me some, uh, some more love mail soon. It's not going to be big. It's, it's, it's only, I think it's only one deck. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we get there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later. Bye.